Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. How are you guys doing? Welcome to the channel. Uh, we are back for one more round of a Formula One 22, and today we will be exploring the game as it is the second streaming on it. There, there is a lot of things still to have a look and see how it's playing out on this new brand new Formula One game and we'll probably we'll try to look at F1 Life then my team career mode then the weekly event which will be in Saudi Arabia on the Jeddah circuit and have a look as well into the multiplayer maybe social play and ranked play in between looking at setup, the checking Brasilo, resources and things like alerts. that. Browser source is offline, make sure you've implemented the source correctly in. Now live. Streaming 1 franc 22, 2 francs 122 exploring and setting up 1 franc Lee my team career weekly event Jeddah Flab, Saudi Arabia Multiplay. Thanks. <laughs> I was going to say city. <laughs> Thanks, assistant. Very well. On the first streaming, we were a little bit lost because Twitch was not working properly. The sound, uh, we took some time to figure out what was happening with the sound of the game. Then we learned that the soundtrack from the game, it is not streamed. Um, we checked it, you can check it check it out on the last streaming. We tested it out. So what you guys are listening now is the theme song. If you change it to the soundtrack, it won't go through the streaming. And time to time the game is as well loading, and, uh, connecting to server, things like that. Uh, it's just because it's still downloading, it's a brand brand new copy and it's still <laughs> downloading things uh, into the my profile uh, into the game as we go so time to time you see that loading to the server message um, we had a chance to do one race um, on the previous streaming we jump into the weekly event Austria with last minute setup and we end up playing on with the TV pod view, which I'm not used to. I always play on the cockpit mode. Um, yeah, and also the setup and philosophy of this, the car setup is different. So I'm looking forward, can't wait to, to try it out and see how it works in this game, setting up the cars. Um, yeah, doing track acclimatizations and practice and races, that's gonna be fun. Here in the channel, we stream Formula 1, we talk about Formula 1 and motorsport and anything else <laughs> that sometimes the guys jump here and talk about. And uh, once I stream here, I try to upload every streaming to my channel in YouTube, Marcelo F1 Scene uh, Streaming. Uh, all the previous streams you will find it there. I have 102 streamings on Formula 121. Um, lots of progression, lots of crashes, <laughs> lots of winnings, lots of losings. A lot of fun. Cool. And yeah, if you guys like, please follow, hit in Twitch, subscribe in, in YouTube for new videos. Um, yeah, it's getting very nice as well, the profile in YouTube. Also, I have uh, the Discord server where I upload, I upload there when I'm going live or add some pictures. And, and I have a Twitter account where I repost, retweet everything about motorsport as well, what's happening to the drivers and the market and the races and things like that. So it's always fun. Cool. So uh, we try every streaming to talk a little bit, chat about the, the channel 
and what we will be doing during the streaming uh, so as well when you are watching in YouTube the recording you'll be able to look for the topics or sessions that we'll be going through uh, during that day of the streaming uh, yeah so for today it's gonna be more exploring going back and forth and trying things out very relaxed very chilled and very soon we're gonna get going with my team and races weekly event and all of that cool now that quick check on the sound yeah now then clear we yeah, are good There we go, that's our chat. Hello. Hello. Cool, look what we just found here. So, an accessibility options. Uh, so, if we go to the home, home tab accessibility, um, it's always good to be careful with the voice chat. I tested it. If you leave it on 10, and when you go to a weekly event or a multiplayer race, when the guys are speaking it's going to be very loud so it really works <laughs> completely different from from 120 21 which this there is no option for you to control that so it's very low <laughs> but here yeah very tricky so maybe seven or five and even mute because <laughs> the guys talk a lot of things and different languages in, in, in the chat there and look at this so we can change it to soundtrack and we can change the songs if we don't like a song we can just turn it off here so that is the the music available on soundtrack so now you know theme we leave that because we actually tested it when we live in soundtrack it doesn't go to our streaming probably Probably for because of rights, so we can uh, go back next. Is it sharing? It's all good. No. Okay, that's good. We don't use that telemetry, we can leave it off. Master music seems to be going well with seven effect speech or the cars voice chat we just put it seven um music <coughs> even six sometimes it can be quite high the music onboard mix I like driver speaker type oh that's auto night mode it's very mixed engineering talking talking off push to talk on mute by default we gotta leave it on just for the beginning now so you guys can see when everyone when they jump into a lobby and there's people speaking things like that how loud it is and how clear you guys can hear here on the streaming 
<clears throat> what, what is chat ducking? Not needed, not needed. This probably not needed, but leave that for the sake of the game. We try it out. Radio verbosity, leave critical. If we wanna hear even less responses only, but leave critical, just so we can see how the AI is doing now um, with the new tips and tricks. <clears throat> Maybe even reduced, just to see what the uh, house is going to be speaking. And when we get annoyed with him, we start to repeat a lot the same thing. We come here and we reduce him. Let's go, go on, on, play music. All oh, good here. Gamma, good. Motion blur strength, this can be put to zero. Uh, on. I like on quality, yeah, not performance. Quality is always good for PS5. If you put performance, the streaming gets really bad um, when uploading it from Twitch to YouTube or even to watching Twitch. I think if you change that graphics priority there, it becomes really bad. Uh, well, at least in 21, uh, I think here in 22 will be the same emotion blur I'm leave 20 for now um, but when we can come back and change it to zero and we start to progress more we went through my will set up on the last streaming so calibrations I always like to add the steering throttle and brake saturations up to 10 to help uh, with the if there is a little bit of delay and with the limiters also before I reach 100% the, it's already going there to 100 that seems to work fine for me and vibration and force feedback we tried that wheel damper I was already on 50% on iPhone 21, so we're gonna go back to 50%. Uh, rotation sometimes I get annoyed, put less, sometimes just if 360, um, just if 360 for now. And depending on the game, let's see how quick the response time. Sometimes it's good to put this a little bit low, so the response is a little bit more, uh, more agile in the game. There is always a little delay between what you input here translated into the game <coughs> haven't tried the supercars yet that's gonna be cool 900 so all looking well and good gonna leave it to zero now sometimes i put one one just for fun so let's leave one or two or zero and let's leave one for now Let's save. Good. We went through as well uh, assigning the buttons here on the last streaming. Uh, I think I'm just minding to change ERS and ERS. We'll see when we start to play. But most of it is already assigned. You can check it out on the last streaming. On screen display on, we have done as well the OSD customization. But this, uh, you need to be on a time trial in the track to change that to customize it. There is one thing I want to change, so we will probably be doing that soon. On screen display co cockpit view, yes, that's we play cockpit view, so it doesn't want to be on. And always, we went through that as well. So all looking good. That's my proficiency that I use. Edit. Back. So on settings. Now done. Let's go to time trial and go to the OST. I think it's on screen display. And uh, yeah, we 
go that trial and fix a few things there. We can go with the Ferrari. That's the car of the moment. We will be going to Saudi Arabia. So we're gonna select it. We might need to steal a setup from someone because we have weekly event in Saudi Arabia. And let's go to track for now. Okay, so this is my OSD. Looking good. Big bias differential. It's working here. Oh, yeah, this little wheel is not pre as precise as the buttons. Yeah. And probably they will update this on the next generation of uh, Logitech G923 or what will come next. That rotation it doesn't respond as well as the buttons, but it's still expected. Okay, here you just click and it's much faster. The front brake and, and bias. It's 54. In 21 seems to be it was working fine. Right, so map good, good, good. We go to settings and on screen display customization. So that's what we have changed. Good. Now, this one here. That this information we have um, in the steering wheel, but. I like the um, the fact that there is you can see the um, when you using the throttle and the brake the telemetry there it's really cool for especially for who is learning how to drive a Formula One uh, car and so that's the only reason we mainly leave it there but all info all the other information is in the steering wheel the ERS, the energy battery, the, 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 pressure, the tire pressure so on the steering wheel you have 98 celsius so that's showing the temperature of the tires so those are front and rear you have the lap the position so L0 lap then position then the kilometers per hour is the uh, speed um yeah i just only the only information i think missing there as well would be maybe full i'm not sure if there is any indication on the steering wheel for full and the telemetry from brake and, and throttle so that's the main reason why we would leave it there um let's see here you'll probably find a better position for it that I think is gonna be too on the face leave it down here it should be okay down there okay next So 
yeah i think this is it um we will be we will need to work with the on screen the cockpit view the field of view and everything so we probably should do that first <clears throat> on camera customization that's where we change the, the view so if you want tv pod or any other option uh, in this case the cockpit view <coughs> we will check the field of view now um what is it saying just explaining things to do them so if we go a positive we then you see more backwards so it expands more the field of view and yeah negative gets closer and closer <laughs> very on the face zero offset horizontal so this gonna go up uh, horizontal is similar to the field of view but here positive goes closer negative goes backwards yeah this one I think I have it around here on the previous one zero and see very very similar um response or effect that that and <coughs> excuse me yeah so it goes this way so I need to minus three or four it is offset horizontal so let's check the field of view With two, it gets come similar to the response there of the offset horizontal. Uh, yeah, so boom, two. Let's go back to zero now. Vertical, it's gonna go up and or down. Nope. Would be nice if the camera customization menu was like more transparent, so you could see it through to have a proper view of the changes something to be implemented <laughs> it's completely inside of the car <laughs> don't see nothing i'm gonna see nothing there angle i don't remember exactly okay so similar to the vertical offset vertical idea but I think it might be like like the head looks like it's like the head looking completely down it's looking more straight ahead and now kind of like looking up so cool. <laughs> you can feel it feel that's like this doing like this so like the movement of the head which here it goes more like shh, like a yeah it it goes like this cool. so if you want to be a dollar drive dollar driver you like Russo go up here and then put looking down like this 
<laughs> so this is the responses. Um, near clip pain. Not exactly sure what this does. Not sure if this affects actually on cockpit view. Might not be for. Might not be for cockpit view. At least I cannot see from here. Mirror angle. Yeah gonna change the mirror but we're not gonna add the mirror to a view here camera shake is all that's nice that it's all defaulted to zero this time they usually put it in a kind of extreme value but this time it started already on zero and the halo column is on um my setup I'm gonna start with just a few of you and maybe open it a little bit more here. Right, so boom 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 and let's check the angle angle up down so we go back That is with a little bit more field of view. field of you break there you will see showing up trouble and sounding let's get this car going check the sound Only the wheel dump have made such a huge difference here. Mm, the sound is missing a little bit the the bass. My my Logitech is struggling a little bit with the wood damper on 50%. The force feedback is on maximum 150. The sound on the headphones. Not so happy with it. Could be just I'm getting used to the game. Cool. So So good. Audio settings. Yeah. Mix driver broadcast. Cinematic. Um. The sound from broadcast. Let's check. Yeah, it seems a little bit more rich.
Yeah, the sound in broadcast seems to be a little bit richer. You guys let me know there what are your impressions. Let's go and change it to cinematic. It's more like 3D. It sounds like a 3D sound. Yeah, my wheel is, is thinning. The wheel damper is too much. Let's change the control and fast feedback. Let's put this zero, zero. That's the first thing. And see, let's check it out now. Can you hear the sound passing close to the wall? I think broadcast is the winner. Broadcast is the winner. Edit. Let's get this guy down to twenty five. And sound. Let's go back to broadcast and then. One more to try, try on driver to see the difference. Yeah, I feel that the broadcast is richer. You can feel more the changing of gears, the downshift. And now the driver. more closed. And you see that downshift, you don't feel that much. You can kind of notice maybe a noise like pretending to be the air passing through the helmet. 
not when it gets the speed. Is it... I think it's trying to... The driver is mix is trying to... Uh, simulate the sound as if you... The sound from the helmet. Uh, when we get to speed, we can hear that it's like um, as is, is if it was the wind. But it's enjoyable. I think the broadcast seems to be much more enjoyable in that sense, much more rich. Yeah. Okay. It's making so much noise this time. Yeah, so podcast is the winner. I think it is a bit more enjoyable as well for who's watching and more reach the sound. You can feel more the changing of gears and things like that. The driver seems to be too close to muffled. And of the whole wind when it's going in a straight, sometimes it's not so nice um, for watching experience. But for for gaming wise, it's I think for me broadcast is cool. Cool sound is tested. OSD seems to be okay there size as well we could put it a little bit uh, make it a little bit smaller yeah we can do that now on screen display Oh. Yeah. Confirm. I confirm. So much noise now. Um, I think I need to put the damper to something like five and test. I can feel so much lighter now. This turn always get me.
Yeah, it was definitely the road I'm making is stressing the G923 quite a bit. Even with uh, on 2021 was fine with 50%. Here didn't this seems to be maybe stronger. So it didn't even was not happy even with 25. Let's raise it to 15. See if we can get as close as I can from. 25 oh. <laughs> I think you guys can hear there Every turn is a brr 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 is really stressing it out, so we need to put it down. Good then save. Or would that be a bug? What do you guys think? We cannot raise the real number for more than five. Yeah, five seems to be good. A good setup here. Changing of directions are going more well smooth. It's just for who plays on uh, Logitech wheel, those wheels like Trust Nasty and more like entry line. If they get too light and want to put a little bit more weight on it, you won't be able to do it using the damper because it just screams <laughs> maybe it's gonna maybe it's gonna be an update because in the, on 21 it was completely fine to raise it to 50 percent or I haven't checked more than 50 but it was fine. Okay, for now, this is working. We go with that. Oh, another car is coming. <laughs> Look at that wheel. <laughs> the debris. So close. <laughs> it's really close. <laughs> Cool, so we went through OST on screen display setup. We changed a little bit, a few things. We have checked the sound, tested the driver mode, broadcast mode, cinematic mode. We decided for broadcast, seems to be a more rich uh, sound 
and we have tested wheel damper on a Logitech G923 which if you go higher than 5 your wheel will not be so happy um, could be something again maybe it's stronger or something that probably a bug that I need should be fixing uh, on the 21 it was fine going to 50 maybe even higher it gave that extra uh, hard uh, making the wheel a bit more hard more tough as it is I think this one for force feedback is only 2.3 newtons which the trust masters the pro ones is like 23 20 newtons it's a huge difference um, so you, to get that real feeling and response so I think my gut says it's uh, gonna be an update some bug that needs to be fixed cool um, let's check a setup for this right this no entries okay uh, we have uh, one a guy with one minute and 26 seconds in the alpine let's select let's load okay and let's check it out I hear um Transmission. So the tabs are the same on the or from the twenty one, but the values are changed. The transmission is still similar or the same. A more open setup and less tire wear because you have men less traction as well. More gradual transition of traction loss, whereas a more locked setup may provide an advent in outright traction. Very similar. Aerodynamics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, the description is the same of the 21. Nothing too special. Negative camber is when the top of the wheel leans towards the body of the car. So it's still the same for front camber if minus 250 is less negative than minus 350 so that means if you put this down you add camber so the idea there is funny because it's always different you adding here you're not adding camber you are removing camber when you do that so here is removed here you add the camber It's different suspension. The description here seems to be a little bit different. So, with stiff springs, will stop the car from lunging forwards during aggressive braking. Uh, while this improves aerodynamic stability, an oversprung car can be very harsh on tires as well as skittish over bumps soft springs absorb bumps more effectively but harsh acceleration or braking can pivot the car aggressively causing a negative effect on aerodynamic stability so balance is good brakes are the same tires the same same values nothing to different here 
so we got this setup and now let's check a balanced setup hmm. look at that suspension is that balanced front suspension very firm with anti roll bars so and almost no rotation and rear very soft brakes and tires very soft tire pressure um let's check um to do increased top speed or higher downforce let's check the extremes like maximum downforce tires same no much difference i i I think the biggest difference is going to be on the aero here yeah so maximum downforce you can see that the values already rear wing is on the max 50 and rear on the 40 and maximum top speed <laughs> 3 and 13 it can go really low according to default setups transmission the suspension geometry seems to be this almost the same for all the setups Uh, this part as well seems to be the same brakes and tires the tires brakes suspension this suspension geometry seems not to be moving but just the aero uh, seems to be moving there yeah again again yeah and oops oops uh, there's a line and increased same same ah yeah front right height is changed a tiny bit there rear right height they are keeping below five to keep the cars close as possible from the ground so and here maybe the lower values for for right height might be faster increasing down force mm, to be found found out yeah and the aerodynamics a bit more higher because it's um not the is increased not the balanced and 18 ah. Ah. Hey. Mm -hmm. suspension 3 4 mm. and this one here 2 3 so maximum increasing speed the ride heights are decreasing so the ride heights are decreasing for more speed not talking to your city and also the aero this is the same that's the same just the ride height yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what the pros will find out about these setups. How they gonna move it around to see what works, what doesn't work. But here from the default, 
no big changes like this is maximum downforce right maximum downforce look that is this the same just the right height 3 3 that's the same transmission and then the maximum just just changing the aero right height uh, yeah the rest is the same for almost all the setups yeah there will be loads of things to play around with this definitely Oop. and our custom setup was from this guy load okay let's check what he has done tires maximum tire pressure <laughs> he's already changing like uh, f121 style yeah much soft in the front the is very soft right height front high yeah. mm, okay 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 what 50 50 both opened and then here kind of there is some aero yeah it's more like on the increased top speed than than downforce itself yeah it's an interesting setup let's put it out on the track and see <coughs> light I'm used to 50% now on the new dumper yeah. adjusting those values there Right now, uh, I think you guys are noticing that there is like a blue line in the track. Uh, it's here where we can turn that off. So display rivals ghost. Um, display my ghost is on. Full personal best limit remote mode. I think that's what is showing that color there. Um, brakes on yeah that's it and off so now if we go back that blue line should be gone yeah the default ghost okay let's remove that ghost from there we don't like those ghosts. Off. Display was ghost off. Current lap telemetry mode. What's that? Ah, yeah, it's gonna show that line again. We set this now, best ghost. Oh, yes, so let's just see. Oh. 
in time trial is showing the MFT now. How come? This is completely new. It should not be showing. Because you cannot overheat the tires or you don't need to warm up the tires or engines or anything. Oh, ah, you can still see. Let's try to make this tires red. No, it's not gonna get red. Yeah, the temperature is fixed in 98, but those disc brakes are blazing. No, they're going down now, they're going down. Yeah, the brake discs are the only one getting yellow or changing color. Maybe it's just so you know how much of the brakes are you, you are using, maybe. Oh, red, yeah, there. That's interesting. I've never seen the MFT for them car for temps on time trial. That's the first time. Let's just put didn't see this at all, but it's just enough. Alternative current lap telemetry mode. Best no, best limit uh, mode. Yeah, that should be fine. Motion settings, realistic. And I change this. I think we are good. Then set up nothing much we can do at the moment let's just save it custom set up custom set up and save that's going to be Jedi test because we it's not our it's not our setup it's from time trial you could put it put as well TT time trial yeah it's nice uh, or test which when either one is cool Go, done. Let's go back to our main screen. MFT with the temp, temp information. It's a uh, look. It I think it's new. I have never seen that in F one twenty one. So they have implemented that. Maybe it's helpful. Maybe it's not. We'll figure it out. 
So that is from home. We went through accessibility, game options, uh, create auto save, calendar, settings. We have done all of that. Yeah. Brand shop, new carrier. We're gonna do that soon. F1 life, customization, supercars. play very soon a little bit do one challenge on weekly event in Jeddah it's not without training or nothing just jump into it we have the social ranked there what's that let's check our menu We understand that you also played F1 2021, yes, and to say thank you for returning to play again this year, we would like to present you with this small gift, oh I like gifts, from everyone at Codemasters, we hope you enjoy everything F1 2022 has to offer and that you continue to be a part of this amazing community throughout the series ahead. Oh, customization item. Mm, that sounds good. Let's get clean. Oh, loyalty customization item. Nice. Accept. Accept. Oh, nice. That's the loyalty customization item. The, co the colors are funny. <laughs> That's nice. So something there super license your trophies ratings your stats oh is everything down to zero skill placement safety attendance trophies you want trophy cool Trophy cabinet. Uh, it should have something there already. No zero stats. Oh, brand new. Zero, 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 zero. Oh, I have one pit stop, one DRS <laughs> from being replaced. <laughs> cool. That is super license. Fortune Pass Plain Leather or Chair It's locked Challenges Item Shop Store Exit Fortune Pass Item shop, we use that. Challenges. Locked series. That's a. Uh, we are familiar with this as we will be playing. We will get those completed. Career. Multiplayer and weekly events. As we start to, to do them. This is gonna be completed solo. Let's go. Cool. That's those are the challenges we'll be going for. Standard. That's podium pass. There's item shop. Brand shop.
Sparkle, nice kicker and sports. <laughs> nice. Uh, bits. Oh, let's go. Star. Like. Cool. So this is the player hub. Which player solo? Carrier. F1 life and home. We check those up and shop already. Customization. From customization, you can change your driver's clothes and accessories, both casual and racewear. You can personalize your F1 life from the color of the walls to the style of your furniture. So let your imagination run wild. Finally, you can customize your driver profile, badge, and the appearance of your player cars. So, customization on F1 Life, casual and racewear. This select design edit cap non it's kind of cool the green one Looking good. Color scheme. <laughs> yeah. So let's get that looks cool. Nice, the graphics coming off and in, really cool, very futuristic. It's kind of nice already. It's going to depend what, which color we're going to be doing with the car. I think for staying, I think you should start with the, uh, you start with your, I think we would start with the car livery first. Oh, look at that. It's quite nice. We got this one there. Eh? Uh, Strix. Word. <laughs> New era. That's the one I think I got for the loyalty something. The color scheme is. This is actually quite cool that you cannot change the color scheme. Four 
colors. Three, two colors, yeah, that's it. So let's change the colors. Uh, what we have? Blue. Tempted to make it. I don't know if we'll be able to put very dark blue. No, I don't think so. Oh, here we go, yeah. Luminance. Hmm. It's gonna be looking like a... Oh, Williams. Um, what about red? I don't think we have a very like darkish red. Mm, that could work. Where's the grey? I think the grey will be that's more like over white. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. I think this is it. Those are the sponsors. <clears throat> See if there's anything very subtle. I don't think we'll find something subtle. Oh, my. I'm here. Ah, wait. And then you can color scheme. Ah, yeah, there. Nice. Anything? No. It's kind of this like this is just something better than normal traditional. Like so now we have our car design. <coughs> I 
gonna go up <laughs> the badge I think because uh, that email I got a loyalty one it's bringing my badge from the previous season it so that is the one we had maybe like this yeah nothing I have more and more shapes all types of shapes and forms <laughs> down here uh, yay, yay. <laughs> the old one yeah uh, this one here Collie scheme um, Oops uh, Go back And make it Yeah. Except ah, that's so good. They keep it simple. And save and exit. That's badges. Driver profile. Right, that's gonna be fun. Avatar, who will will be this season? We know this guy. And David Vinitsa and Brennan Lee. Ah, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, do we have any? One else known? No, I don't think so. So this season we will run as Yano of me. Region from Brazil and drive number twenty one. All done. Back. Oh, something. Uh, okay, only come not. That's me, Brazil twenty one. The number. Good, my place is getting better now. Customize your place, sit. Let's find something cozy here, guys. Ah, the little chair changes with it. <laughs> Look at this, boss. Nice and big chair there. Oh, yeah, they just changed the color, but it's the same kind of style there. Yeah, that seems to be nice. Feels like home. Next is a furniture. 
look at that. Everything changed with it. <laughs> this is very, very complex. This one. The more simple look. Oh, no discussion. That's definitely this one. V6 orange. Flooring. Black, gray. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, 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 this one. Wood, dark oak. Like it. Walls. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Very studio, this one. Mm, cool. Looks like the bricks on my house. So, this one, this one, or this one, I think this one's more classy, nice, brick grey, wall art, ah, oh, that's, that card, that is perfect already, I like that one, lighting, hmm, that's pretty cool as well. Not bad. <laughs> too cool, crazy, too crazy, too crazy. Kind of stylish this one. I think I liked that one here. Nice. Not much with the floor. Then, oh, soft furnishing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this seems to be very neutral. But the black as well is really cool. So, this or this this yeah Choco. nice welcome to my place done my place is done then I can go back to the clothes edit uh, the cup which was this one then sunglasses. This is very like airplane kind of style. <laughs> this one just to make different and well, let's go. Very different. Uh, no. Yeah. Greenish, greenish. Gonna look like a bozo, like a palazzo. Here we go. Place where now we can work on this. I don't like the whole sparking thing, but the color would be that helmet calibrate. No, we cannot calibrate. Suit. Let's go. That's all good. Pause. Yeah. Clip. Buttons and modes.
<laughs> That's cool. Like a bird. Yeah, yeah, that tradition one. That's something different. This one. Cool. And victory radio call calls. Ah, you can listen here, so let's listen. Thank you. I need a moment. <laughs> nice! It's very nice! Ah, oh, we did it! We did it! Nice. Peanut butter jelly. Oh, peanut butter jelly time! Peanut butter jelly time! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Woohoo! You snooze! You lose! You guys gotta trust me. I'm taking you into battle, yeah? <laughs> That's smart. Yeah, that's cool. Back. And I think we are all done with uh, F1 My Life. Casual and race were done. My place is done. You can see that my really cool table with my cool Ferrari F8 tribute. The living room, lighting, the, the sofa. The art, yeah, looking good. This Mercedes or this one? This is pretty cool. Accept. That's gonna be all my. Let me show you. Do, 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 do. Okay, four. Select the car to feature. Ah, okay, okay, so. Nice. Now, yeah, look at this. Is there now? Checking out. What else can we do here? Drive car, change paint color, change car, change car information, drive car, time trial, early hot lap, early hot lap, time attack, drift, time attack. Normal. Great for newcomers to the F1 series. It will for all assist levels. Challenging offers a balance experience that recommended for players com comfortable with easy field assists and hard. Photos seeking a greater test of skill. Optimized for players using low assist levels. So that will be me. <coughs> Okay, so challenge targets continue. This is the Miami. I've never been the Miami circuit. <laughs> Driving on a supercar. Where is the next turn?
I can use flashback. Nice. <laughs> Not warning. It looks like it's a uh, Austria Grand Prix. <laughs> was not enough room to stop. <laughs> wow. This part here is very broken. <laughs> oh, very slow. Wow, very, very tricky part that there. Very tricky. No idea where to change the view here. Nice chill laps. Oops, he <laughs> still needs to do a lot of laps. <laughs> Only recognize that now. Okay, guys, let's go. Drift. late <laughs> too late on the brakes Fun. 
taste here is quite hard as well. Very nice. And there are some points for the attempt. 128 advance. Points for participation. <laughs> So, customization of supercars, we went for a little stroll with this Mercedes AMG GT Black Series. Um, so, that's what we do here on the supercars retro showroom. F1, F2, 21 player cars. What player cars design? Okay, that's um, the one I just created. View. Finally, I think we can toggle. Toggle. I'm toggling, but nothing is happening. Back. L. Can go back or close or. But I don't think we can look around so much, just that automatic view. Cool, that's our machine. Oh, that's the player cards, we just went there. F2. Let's see if our friend Enzo is there. Awesome, so I'm gonna do, be doing some races with Enzo. That's Enzo. And have fun. Then we can check out all the cars. Cool. So that's what we check on the virtual showroom. Trophies we checked in theater. It's communicated with the servers all the time. We they can. Theater, okay. What I think is just to check the house, my cars, my friends there. I found my visitors. What's that about? Ah, <laughs> you can change them. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. Alex Murray Callisto, <laughs> Lucas. Someone Korea, Ego Korea, and the list continues. So these are the names of the AIs, my friends. Let's go. Cool. The visitors. If I select one of them, what can what happen, Sophie? Is the view profile. Nothing happens. Visitor for life. You just popping in. Oh, I'm checking her, her house. Ooh, Bush, Ferrari. And she fancy. Oh, look at that. McLaren looks good in that room there. Yeah, very, very fancy. I have, I have the, the safety car, so come on. That's cool, though. Communicate with service so nice because the game is so new it keeps downloading things very soon It's gonna be good. It's gonna stop it. Also, everything has been downloaded So I think we explored everything in F1 Life and We will jump into um, our weekly event do a little bit of a race and then if we have some time in the end we can play around with the mighty carrier mode assists uh, this should be all be already set up but let's check just to save the full this we cannot change not change immersive oh my 
difficulty AI we have on expert and unlimited low let's see if we go with 110 AI 110 AI just to feed it that's all so good this we have all set up yeah so let's go back and let's go to the event so once we choose the settings you enter the event you cannot change anymore for that week for the weekly event you need to choose one time Greetings and, go and welcome with it. from Jeddah for what promises to be a sensational slice of world-class motorsport. We're off to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Nice view, very nice view. So this will be opportunity to finish in eighth position or higher as Carlos Sainz Ferrari. And let's add the car setup we took from the online. Um, we haven't tested it yet, or we will be learning how to set up these cars on this season. But for now, we're gonna just go with what we have there. So, advance, let's go get straight into it. Let's forget this turn. <laughs> Trying to remember the track. It's been a long time since I played on here. Okay. <laughs> That's gonna be our first flashback. Okay, the gap behind is four with five seconds. Oh, <laughs> it's 110 AI, so you cannot slip in front of them.
when I'm gonna learn this 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 turn. <laughs> flying <laughs> it just goes wow the 110 AIs they are so good <laughs> Let's see how Hamilton pass so close Late breaking. Keep tapping the walls. go. First time I did that turn correct. My teammate is passing, you know. It. Where is it? Come on. Here we go. Ah. Completely lost still. Okay, 
Okay, blue fly conditions, create a gap and let the car behind through. Yeah, I think my DRS button is lost. I need to sign it. Oh, noise! Did you see how close noise passed by there? In a hole like this size. No damage. <laughs> awesome. Maybe the damage is not a uh, simulation. Open lobbies now. It's an open lobby. Oof, they're going wild. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I am going back straight too. <laughs> Come on, Albon. You broke my front wing even. Ah, it opens. The TRS is opening with the same button of the of the ERS. Looks like it's raining a little bit, or no?
Well, I have to redeem something there. Front wing, I think. Can't, can't quite figure it out the car yet. Okay, blue flag conditions create a gap and let the car behind through. Okay, let's park it here. For today, this is it, guys. We will have time to complete weekly event and go through. Okay, black flag, black flag. We're out. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. We will be able to to complete on the next stream on Thursday. We will do my team, start my team, set up the. Uh, my team and do the weekly event again do some setup in the car the car is not perfect it's just a setup I took online so it's not working amazingly and also I don't remember exactly where to go in the track so we will work maybe a little bit on setup because it seems to be a little bit different how to set up these cars. Cool. Thanks again for coming by, saying hello for all the follows and subscribe. And see you next time. Thursday. Bye.